So why is it your ads stop making sales? Why is it your e-commerce store stops making sales? This is a video for those of you guys who have started and are currently running an e-commerce store, but for some reason, you can't see consistent sales, you can't continually grow your store, you can't continually make revenue from your store, and for some reason, every single time it dies. Uh, now, it'll either die because your conversion rates drop or your cost per purchase is far too high for you to be profitable or your ad account gets banned or you lose your payment processor and basically it looks like the world hates you and it all falls apart. Well, this is a very simple video to explain how to solve a very common problem. You are entering what's called the death spiral. Uh, I'm going to try my best to go through this in as much detail as possible, but I am putting on a free training uh, which is going to teach you this in a lot more detail. So that you can get a free course if you sign up to that somewhere around here. There's a link. But basically, you start an e-commerce store, okay? And when you start an e-commerce store, you spend a huge amount of time researching your product and getting good product images and creating product descriptions. And fair play to you, right? You've done a very good job because you're now making sales. Most people who start with e-commerce don't. So you're now making sales. So what do you do? Okay, well, first day, maybe you make two or three sales. You're over the moon. It's your first internet money, okay? Day three, day four, you're trying to scale your ads. You're thinking, well, I made $100 today. If I put you know, double the amount of my ad spend, I'll make $200 tomorrow. Or maybe I'll make $400 if I triple my budget, right? The point is you are sitting there thinking, how can I scale my store? But what happens is you increase your ad spend and your store doesn't scale. You start to reach this, like, this plateau. What happens is you're increasing your spend, you're increasing the amount of revenue that's generating, but at a certain point, the profit is not increasing. So you're actually getting to a point where you're just breaking even every single day. Some days you're unprofitable, you can't seem to break past this barrier, but it doesn't make sense. Well, <laughs> what's happening, right, is your ad costs are probably rising, Okay, and comment down below, guys, if you've ever been through this before, because I am genuinely interested to see what you tried to solve this problem, because it's actually a very, very simple fix. Typically, you're losing out on customers and sales because your ad costs are rising and you can no longer compete, right? What's happening is day one, you're getting two, two three times return on your ad spend. Here, 64 sales at $7.54 per purchase. You're getting some really, really, really good results. But then the next day you wake up and for some reason you're now spending $15, $20 per purchase and you're now losing money. So every single bit of revenue and profit that you've made the previous day, you're now losing out on it. So what do you do? Well, you continue to change your ad strategy, look for different solutions, maybe change up your website, you change your landing page, whatever. And now you're actually losing, you're not getting any conversion rates, people aren't adding to cart anymore, nobody buying from your store, you're losing money until eventually basically either your ad account gets shut down you lose your payment processor you can't make any money from your store anymore and you have to turn off your ads because you're unprofitable and then you have to go around the spiral again starting a brand new e-commerce store this is basically the death loop and there's a very simple explanation for why this is happening right so if you ever been in one of these positions here where you've been like i've been making five six sales per day steady but now i'm only making one sale across all of my ads or your ad account's been banned or you're spending money on your ads you're getting clicks but you're not getting any sales it Part of it comes from the fact you've been lied to when you first started your business. But I'm assuming that a lot of you out here are able to make sales. Okay, I'm assuming that you've already built an e-commerce store. Whether you start with drop shipping or you have your own personal brand or whatever it is, but you're trying to scale that store and you're not able to make sales, it's because these guys that you've learned from haven't given you the full picture, right? It's because these guys who you've learned from from YouTube only like to talk about one thing, and that is how much money you can make in a very, very short amount of time, right? So for example, Every video out there on YouTube teaches new advertising strategies or how to find the best product or how to get the most people to visit your store, how to go viral on TikTok and get a huge amount of sales, right? If that is what sort of content you're watching, you haven't been taught how to actually sustain your e-commerce store, how to actually continue to generate revenue from your e-commerce store. So now you've been given the tools that you need to get started, but the only tool that you have to continue actually sustaining this is just keep on reiterating what you've learned okay these guys who are trying to teach you how to make a huge amount of money in e-commerce only need to show you that they can make a huge amount of money in a single day because if they do that you will go ahead and buy their course or you'll join their mentorship program or whatever it is and just to clarify right there is no problem with buying these things right because this is what got you to where you are now the problem comes is when you try and use the methods that you were teach taught by a complete newbie beginner who doesn't know what they're doing to actually use those strategies to scale your e-commerce a store because it doesn't work right and this is exactly what happened to me right this is me four years ago i was running facebook ads for an e-commerce store uh you can't really see it here but i zoomed in fifty two thousand dollars in one month i was making from my e-commerce store but although i looked very happy at this point i don't know if i look happy there but i was quite happy that i was making a lot of money this store was inevitably going to fail right because what happened is over a short period of time so one of these months is the month that i just showed uh be this one here 
over a short period of time, that store starts to fail. Okay, so maybe what you do is you launch a new product or you launch some new ads or your ad account gets banned and then you get it back again so you can scale your ads. But inevitably, your e-commerce store looks like this. So if you're at the position, right, in your store where you're kind of coming down the spiral, right, you're spiraling down, or you're at the top and you've started to plateau, you need to make sure that you've actually solved, you're, you're not doing, making these mistakes that I'm about to go through, right? You need to make sure that you're actually sorting out your business in a way that's gonna enable you to grow, but also continue to grow, okay? You wanna follow this strategy, you don't wanna follow this route, okay? And that's basically what we're gonna go through in this video. So, after a while, I got fed up with failing in e-commerce and I got fed up with not making any money from e-commerce. So I decided to go ahead and learn from brands and actually learn how to run proper ads. And you can see here, this is me looking very goofy, running an ad, running a brand here, $506,000 in one month, okay? But I mean, this isn't my store. I was running the ads for this store. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to learn why everybody else I was seeing around me was able to make a huge amount of money over a long period of time and create sustainable e-commerce brands, but I wasn't able to. I also managed to get this store to $100,000 in one day. And inevitably, after a while, I learned that there was a very easy system that I was missing when I was creating my, my store, okay? Because I asked myself the question, how do you build a long-term sustainable business? How do you make sure that when a customer buys from your store, they will keep coming back and buying? Essentially, creating sustainable dropshipping, where day one, two, three, and four, and five, you're making new revenue every single day. And as you scale those ads, you make more profit. So by the end of it, you've actually brought home a significant amount of money, and you don't end up burning through your budget and then losing money in various days when you're trying to scale your ads okay and the reality is right you've been given the wrong tools for the job so when you're trying to scale your store you need to realize that once you've acquired a customer it's significantly easier to get that customer to come back and buy from you again okay so imagine this right you buy from a store an e-commerce store and when you buy from that e-commerce store maybe you don't know what the shipping times are so you have to email their customer support and then the email takes two days to get back to you and then they tell you okay i'll be with you in two weeks and so you're like okay cool and then what happens is we weren't sent your, your tracking number so maybe what happens is three or four or five days later somebody you send an email again saying where's my tracking number and then three days later you get your tracking number back and at a certain point customers patience runs out okay so what they do is they get angry and they start to complain and so now what happens is in your business right you're running a store you're making revenue and as that starts to slow down you'll notice what's actually happening is the amount of customers that are getting angry the amount of people who are complaining the amount of problems that you're having in your business are starting to rise so this here is a symptom of you starting to spend a less time on your marketing because there's problems happening in your business because you've scaled too quickly you've brought on far too many customers for your business to handle because the only thing that you cared about right at the start was marketing so now what you need to do is hire like a customer service team to deal with these people emailing you and what's happening is the time that you're spending on that is stopping you from marketing so your store is starting to drop maybe you've now trained up your customer service team and you started to arrest that descent but what happened is the people over here and the people over here that ordered that haven't received their order or they've had a problem or they want a refund but they didn't actually get any responses because you didn't have a customer support team set up you didn't have any you know you haven't set up your business properly basically they start to dispute payments and then what happens is they start to report your ads and then they go ahead and by the way, right, Facebook asks for feedback from people. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. So what happens is you get a feedback score. So these guys who don't like what you're doing start to complain. And then instantly, right, this is the period where your business is working. And then this is the period where your business dies. Okay, this is death. The reason this happens is because the people who bought over here right at the start are starting to complain over here. And they do that in mass numbers because you're scaling. You've got a huge number of customers coming in, but you haven't built a business in a way that's going to sustain these customers. So although you've now started to arrest that descent you're now dealing with a lot more problems so your business basically just plummets because what's happening here is you're spending all of your time now trying to put out fires in your business because you hadn't spent enough time actually setting things up properly right at the start so now your business fails right so you're doing two things right you're trying to hire people you're trying to set up support systems you're trying to deal with customers you're trying to chase suppliers you're trying to work out where people's orders are you're trying to also diagnose these problems that are happening in your business you're trying to find new advertising strategies because your ad costs are rising so all of this time that you were spending on marketing beforehand you're now spending on putting out fires and your business just accelerates its death and its decline so inevitably at some point your business is going to fail but we're in a point here where we've got the business that started to fail we want to make sure that this starts to increase again and the only way that that's going to happen is if you start to spend more time actually on marketing and less time on putting out these fires so if you are in that position at the moment 
And like I said, I've got a free training where I'm going to go through this in a lot more detail. Go ahead and click the link down below or wherever around this video to go ahead and join that. But if you're in that position, there's one thing that you need to do, and that is set up proper support systems. Okay, you want to make sure that people aren't going to be going to Facebook and these people aren't going to be leaving bad reviews. People aren't going to be reporting your ads or complaining about delivery times or, you know, saying things like, I was really disappointed, right? And what happens when people go ahead and dispute, sorry, when people go ahead and report your ads, okay, what actually happens is this, your ad costs rise. So the reason your ad costs are rising is because you're offering a very, very bad service and TikTok and Facebook, they all know about it, okay? So when you're running your ads, people, if they're getting a bad service, will do one of two things. One, they will be asked to review your business and they will leave a bad review because you've run a bad business or they will report your ads and report your business. And then TikTok uses this information and Facebook uses this information to class classify your business. Is it a good business or is it a bad business? Because if, it's, if you're not doing business properly, if you're running it badly and Facebook decides that you're essentially scamming their users, they're not going to let you advertise on their platform and they're going to penalize you. So your feedback score drops, your ad costs rise, you can now no longer bring on any customers. So what happens is your store ends up failing. Okay, so no, mount, no matter how many new products that you test or no matter how many different advertising strategies you try or creatives that you test, you're never going to get this ad cost down until you increase your feedback score, until you increase your customer satisfaction. And the only way to do that is setting up the proper systems by hiring support teams and creating a portal essentially where people can go in and get access to easy information. Okay, and then inevitably what's going to happen is you'll build a long-term business. And this is what I worked out, right? When I ran this store and it failed, I spent a huge amount of time analyzing this and working out why this had happened. And I couldn't figure it out. So I went and I worked with different e-commerce brands and I found out that I was able to make these guys, I mean, I was working for three years doing this, right? And I was able to make them a huge amount of money, right? This store that I was working with was doing five to $10,000 per day for an entire year. This is the previous year, this dotted line, okay? They were doing the same amount of revenue for an entire year. And the only reason they were able to do that was because they built a loyal brand audience, a loyal audience customer base who would keep on coming back and purchasing from their store. So the only way to do that is give them a good experience. Okay, and if you want to give them a good experience, you have to make sure that they can understand their shipping terms. They can get a refund if they need you. They can talk to a human if they need to. They're going to get answers to their questions instantly. And the problem is nobody talks about this stuff because it's service delivery and it's boring. But essentially, if you just find a way of automating this problem, you're going to be fine. Okay, just hire people, set up the support systems right at the start, and then build upon that. Create the foundations for a proper business, and then start to market your product. Then start to scale your product, and you'll be able to see that the customers, when they receive the order, they'll be happy. They'll take photos. They'll They'll send it on social media to their friends. They'll share your ads. They'll actually recommend your product to other people, but they're not going to do that if you give them a bad experience. And if you give them a bad experience, they're going to report your ads. They're going to report your TikTok organic videos and your ad costs are going to rise. So guys, that's all I kind of have time for in this video. But if you want to get more information on how to solve this problem, I have got a free class. You can go ahead and click the link down below in the description. If you register for that, I will also give you a free course as well, which will help you scale your e-commerce store and teach you exactly how to solve these problems that you're having and make sure that you can sustain your business. But go ahead, join that free class. There's a lot more information I want to share with you guys, but I don't have time in this video. If you've got any other video ideas or questions you have, leave them down below in the comments but I will see you in my next video.